Um, I think one thing that is very important when dealing with clients is managing their expectations or setting their expectations. So when you are dealing with the public and you're giving either a product or a service, you want to make sure that they have reasonable expectations. What, how long is your service going to take? How is your product going to arrive? What are they supposed to do with their product to get it? Or how are they supposed to maintain the service that they had? What you want someone to do is come to your business, enjoy it, enjoy the experience, and then tell other friends and family about how fabulous or how wonderful you were what you don't want is someone to leave your leave your business and then when whenever someone's mad what are they going to do they're going to you know fire up that laptop and make that google review or tell their friends and family don't go there because the blah 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 However, a lot of times a client is mad or doesn't have a great experience because they had unrealistic expectations well what do you mean well if someone's trying to get something that's not going to work or if they have an unrealistic time frame as to what's going to happen then they're going to leave with a bad experience and you did nothing wrong for example if you are doing lashes and your lashes take two hours something should say on your booking you know this this service is two hours so if I'm thinking you know I can get a, a, a brand new set of mega full lashes in 30 minutes and I book my appointment at 2 30 and I have to pick up my son from school at 3 30 and the eyelash tech is like 30 minutes away and you're not not done in 30 minutes I'm now upset because I'm going to miss my picking up my son and it's all your fault because you took too long when in all actuality, I had unrealistic expectations. So by setting the tone, explaining to your to your customer what the experience is going to be. If if someone's purchasing a product, is it a digital product? You know, how do I download the product? What are the instructions? Um, if it's going to be shipped, you know, what is the expected shipping uh, shipping time? You know, three to seven business days. You know, trying to manage their expectations. Now on the flip side, if a client, especially my service based business, if the client is getting something that you know they do not need to be getting or is not going to work for them you need to also let them know that so for example if I am natural and I'm trying to get some bone straight uh, extensions installed and I want to leave like half my hair out for leave out and you know that my leave out's not going to match my extensions then as a professional you need to be like hey you know I don't think this is going to be the look for you and this is why I would have her sign off on the form. On my consultation form at my salons, they would have to sign off saying, you know, our professional opinion was not to do this. If someone came in with relaxed hair wanting to get a sewing, uh, no, you just relax your hair. After we braid your hair, all the tension is going to cause your hair to, you know, to break. So when you take the sewing down, you're going to have a lot of, you know, you're going to have a lot of hair loss. So it's our professional opinion that you wait two weeks. Well, if she has a date with Drake, she's like, well, baby, I don't care. Put the sewing in. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to do it. But Sign this form right here saying that, you know, I told you of, you know, the repercussions of doing this. So you want to make sure that we're setting our clients expectations to be realistic expectations. But even with doing that, you're still going to have those people that have unrealistic expectations are going to complain anyway. We're just trying to minimize the complaints.